My favourite Scottish venue is the Glasgow Barrowlands. It's just got its own character, it's never been had a lick of paint in the last 40 years. Um, it's just got a unique atmosphere that you can't replicate anywhere else. Won't you come see about me? I'll be alone dancing, you know it My favourite gig of all time in Scotland was in September the 6th, 1980. It was at the Bungalow Bar, the legendary Bungalow Bar in Paisley, and it was the skids, it was the, the mighty skids at their peak. Well, the fact that we got there with the skin of our teeth was really memorable, and the atmosphere was incredible, and it literally was an atmosphere because there was like sweat rising to the ceiling and forming a cloud on the ceiling. Um, everybody came out of the, that gig absolutely drenched. It was really intense, it was a real scrum down at the front. The stage was only up, to, but was beneath my, below my knees. The stage was below my knees, and I was right in front of my hero, Stuart Adamson, and it was full on. The kids were amazing. Lassie, don't yeah, I walked into this venue, and they had this like amazing banging folk band on, and it was just the most Scottish place that I've been for a while because the whole crowd were just chanting at, for this folk band and like throwing all these inflatables <laughs> that they, they flew out so it was like inflatable bananas and inflatable footballs all like bouncing around with all these Scottish people chanting at the stage <laughs> at this folk music and I just thought like you'd only find that scene happening in Scotland you know and so just made me feel really proud to be Scottish <laughs> in that moment. I'd say that my favourite Scottish music venue or certainly one of them is Pink Tops. I just love um, the size of it, so how small it is, how close you can get to the band. I don't know any other uh, venue in Scotland that ex still exists in a way that's like that. Um, and whenever a band that I love announces they're playing here, it's like I have to like move mountains <laughs> to be able to come because I know it'll be amazing. <laughs> So that was my ticket from that, and um, again a Barrowlands one, and then this is the one from the Usher Hall. So that's the ticket, and then um, our after show pass that got us into like the party afterwards, and a photo from the party, and it's a really bad photo of me because I was only like 17, but it was I was so excited that I finally got to meet uh, the lead singer Roddy, and like he's one of my idols. So yeah, that was really cool to finally meet them. Scottish gigs do tend to have a special kind of atmosphere and I think that um, whether you're on the side of performing or whether you're in the crowd you feel that a lot. I've, I've been to shows elsewhere and not had half of the, the atmosphere that you get at a Scottish gig and I don't think that that's, um, I'm not the only one to think that. I think that that's quite a common thing with Sc Scottish crowds. We're usually quite loud and quite, um, we get quite into it as well which is good. Oh.